Hello, everybody. Hello, and welcome back to Points of Light. No, oh, <laughs> Points of Light. I am Nordvernok, and as usual, I'm the Dungeon Master. Um, and we are going to play Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition, set in the world of Eberron. Can't forget about that. Um, yeah, not much is like not much to talk about here, but the real, uh, but real world is going to be a bit of a mess for a while. But and yeah. <laughs> And and uh, and on for and and last Friday, uh, like, you know, Friday night, um, Rose, Silken, uh, Lego, and a few others played a uh, uh, started our Star Wars Fifth Edition campaign. Woo! Not much for celebration, huh? Oh, sorry. I mean, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Do you do you have a lot of fun, Silken, Lego? Sorry, I was reading. No. Are you talking about the Star Wars campaign? I, yeah. I just, I just like brought it up yeah. as second campaign. Woo! As if I have a lot. As if I have a lot to uh, to keep track of these days. You know. Remind. Oh, remind me to tell you about the time that I, that I ran two parties in a single campaign for my last campaign. Interesting. It was not fun. So anyway, so basically the recap is that there's a. Uh, uh, there's a hell uh, that that there you find a six uh, uh six body slay uh, or stone about the um mansion, uh with uh with Zoria's use of the uh, uh deathly token, um you're able to piece together what happened and to sum it up, it's one hell of a love affair and a heist that has gone horribly wrong. And uh, and because it, it creates such uh, a uh, it killed the uh, killed the vibe, the ball seems to be about uh, about to uh, to close up uh, is about to come to an end. Uh, more of an abrupt end, I would say. No. No. I think the T Rex would have been cooler, a little more fun at least. Than, uh, and I that is where this. you are right now, as some of the Strong Watch is going to bring in. The head of, of a uh, of an orcish man. It's like, and and this guard, uh, they're like, uh, wait, 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 wait. They're bringing in just the head. <laughs> That's all they could find. I think the rest is just splat. Okay, just making sure that I heard you right. Yeah. And and this like female halfling. It's just, uh, uh, it's just. Wait, you guys brought it with you. You asked, she says. Yeah, but like, you just got here. That means you had it. Uh, oh, oh, right, right. I forgot you. You headed out to uh to the. I'm sorry. Okay, so you traveled to. Let me take a look at my notes. Um, it took you. It took you about an hour or so to get to uh Middle Tavix Landing. Or would you rather just expedite the, the thing by just by flying over there, literally? I thought we were flying over there. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's quick as travel. You flew over um, there, and you flew over there with the help of, um, with the help of directions from, um, uh, from, uh, uh, from the Sharn, uh, from the Sharn Watch. Um, you're able to find the, uh, uh, find the, uh, um, uh, the scene of the crime, so to speak, as you see a large, like, red crimson splatter on, on, on one, uh, on the bridge you stand on, with horrified people just Oh, um, uh, by uh, by the hoods, what? Oh, <laughs> you hear kind of hear a uh, a uh, a tiefling just like sobbing in the background, just really shocked from this. So, uh, you see like a bunch of like uh, the, uh, what all arranges that guy is that guy's head and some organs thrown about. Are the organs still attached to the head? Part of the spine, yes. But but just that, not all of them. And like some like uh, like bits of like what 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 builds up the throat. I'm just trying to make sure that we don't have a potential penangalon on our hands. And what now? Uh, I would tell you to look it up, but spelling it is kind of difficult. Don't, don't look it up. <laughs> oh god! That's, that's also, okay. judging about the context, it would not look great. Ah. Uh, it's gonna look really yeah, gruesome, huh? No, it keeps on trying to autocorrect me a pangolin. 
Pangolin. Right. No, 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 no. All right. So, um, and and the, and one of the cars is like, make way, make way. We got inqu um, inquisitors on the scene. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The vampire thing? No, inquisitor as like another word for it, detective in everyone. No, 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 no. Pene it, it is. It is. It. It's not really a vampire thing, but yes, also it is at the same time. Yeah, where it's just like their head, the top half of their torso, and their guts kind of just float around. Yeah. From like Thailand or oh, I misunderstood. South Southeast Asia oh somewhere. God, that! Oh, thank you for reminding me, Nathan. Oh my God. I know that there's a Japanese one that's pretty similar, but it's instead of any torso, it's just the head, floating head, and then the guts from there. Oh. Anyway, pleasant conversations aside. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, the head. I, I want to quickly fire something off to everyone. Yeah. In the, I see like in a, the... a couple of pensions trying to take uh, take a piece of the uh, of the. Uh... Mm -hmm. You're not sure if that guy's an orc or half orc, but yeah, pensions are like taking bits of his organs, just she, just like flying. Well, off. we know right we now know. is he a corpse or half corpse? Because how much of his body is destroyed? I think there's like an eighth here. <laughs> how far did he fall? All right, do you know we had to fly here, so a few layers. Uh, so like, the, the, so there's Skyway and there's and there's like Middle of Memphis. Do you how many miles? Big, less than one. So it's only a mile high, city. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Got to pull up the map for that. <laughs> no passively. You hear about people muttering? He's like, "What are they? Well, what's going on? What are they up to?" Well, I approach the head. I would like to fire something off to the uh, the group real quick. All right, check out the group. They're remarkably chill with just letting us um, do this. Like, we didn't show anything. They just assumed we were the, the investigators. I mean, we kind of stepped in as the investigators. You... All right, so what do you want to do? Uh, there is down uh, Zoya. Well, I approach the body and um, we're two layers down on the way for the cold. I, and I mean, I think we're just we're already. Yeah. We're already involved, so let's just finish it and then go on with our day. That's what I said. Okay, the head floats up as it uses. Um, but like, I pull out the coin and I use the coin on the head. <laughs> the coin, as if it gaps, uh, uh, as if like it gaps for air. And people like like one of them like turned around and like just booked it. Nope. Not, not too weird <laughs> for them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and well, and otherwise she's like screaming at the top of their lawns. It's like No ah! Okay, calm down. Calm Why down. Are they still here? Yeah, that's a good question. It's been like twenty minutes. <laughs> it's been oh, an hour. Way, fall, falling for oh. a mile for a mile won't cause your body to disintegrate. Well, his body hit a bunch of things on the way down, and got hit by a gargoyle, as the guard uh, as the, uh, uh, Sean Watch says. Yeah, well, You got still. mauled by a gargoyle on the way yeah. down. <laughs> that <works>. Anyway. I... <laughs> it's not a gargoyle if it doesn't stream water. If it doesn't stream water, it's just a grotesque. No, asshole, we're talking gargoyle the monster. Oh. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I'm writing a dream down. That's that's all right. If you have any questions when you use the uh, uh, Desi token, 
What do you want to ask it? Um, because apparently there's still people around watching. I'm going to quietly ask. Um, who who hired him to kill Sir Goth and Vosh Gunbright? No one. He, he says... God damn it, we're gonna have to go to ancient Greece, are we? I don't get it. Uh, uh, Silicon, I, I don't get it. Odysseus means no one. Oh, right! <laughs> oh, right! <laughs> oh, I remember now. My Greek hey, first of all, you are misinterpreting that his name didn't mean no one. That's just, he lied about his name to Polyphemus and said his name was no one. Oh, that's right. But, as he was sailing away, he stood on the deck of his ship and shouted, I am Odysseus, because he wanted to get credit for tricking the uh, Cyclops. And uh, that's why the Cyclops called out to his father, Poseidon, Poseidon, and that's why he got stuck traveling the Mediterranean for so long, because Poseidon I mean, was pissed. <laughs> Uh, 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 great tales to be like that sometimes. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's the uh, so so that's the uh, cook's an uh, so that's the half orcs or orcs answer. No one hired him. Yeah, no, more questions. Two questions. Uh, there were two no, options here. Either you just really didn't like Slogar. Nope, wrong person. The father is Voss. On the other guy. Sir Goth is the father. Was the father. Yeah. Slogar was the last House Kenneth guy we really tangled with. Anyway, um, yeah, anyway, either he just didn't like them, or he wasn't hired. He was, he was forced to do it. Too. Oh, uh, yeah. Lego, you're not on uh, World Twenty. I am. It doesn't look, look like you are. Sorry. Oh, duh. Okay, there we go. So, um, what? Do, what anyway, else? Anyway, um. Hmm. Uh, so okay. maybe a so why in my mind I am going to say so the corpse doesn't hear me um I'm going to say uh, should I ask who ordered him to or if Should I, should I ask him if he did it on his own, or was he ordered, like, who ordered him to? Maybe Kill a why? Them. Would why be worth it? I mean, I think getting the person, like, Like, I want to know if he was the one just responsible just because he hated him, or, um, or was he ordered to because he works under someone? Because if he was ordered by someone and not hired by someone, that means the person that possibly someone that is alive and responsible for the death. I mean, because the only other people that 
possibly responsible would be um, House Lyrandar. Because their heir was wanting to run away with another dragon mark out. Yeah. So yeah, everyone you just, just ask him who ordered you to or we could ask him did you do it on your own or were you ordered to do it by someone? And if he Uh, if he was ordered by someone, we could then ask, who was that person? We can add it. Should we ask why, though? Why he did it? Well, that's a question. See, that's a question if we know he just did it because he hated the person, or he did it on his own. Like, if he just did it because he was ordered to, then he has no ill will towards them. He just was told to kill them. <laughs> and you still see, like, a couple of citizens just, like, staring awkwardly at you as if as they had this, like, flying conversation. Yeah, we're just kind of... I'm just staring at the head having a conversation with the switchboard. <laughs> yeah. In the switchboard. Alright. You still have four um, more questions, I believe? I understand yep. I have four <laughs> more questions. I have every I'm just question. question two. <laughs> or I'm deciding what question to ask. It's not like there's a time limit on this. Um actually no there isn't oh, yeah. No, there's not. It, yeah, there's this not. this this head will because be of the joke. <laughs> in this this state until a uh, fifth app question is asked, uh, or five questions are asked. Um. All right, I'm just gonna ask. Did you kill them? on your own, or did someone order you to do this? Kill them on my own. His voice was really raspy without, you know, a set of lungs. We want to burn a question on why is this kind of a dead end at this point? I mean, but I'm. Uh, I I mean, we have to ask five questions, so I'm gonna ask why 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 he jumped or why are you dead right now? I'm gonna ask why did he kill and kill them? Fush the prick! Let a uh, raid against my company. Back in the war. Mm. Let a what against his company? Let a raid. Oh, right. I, I they said, led how, a how raid against his company miss, during the war. I miss so he, they, held a, they, he, he held a parade against him. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Who would be angry about that? Um, I mean, if someone made a, a parade of fuck you, Nicholas, I'd be oh, kind against, of upset. Yeah. Okay, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> Against. Okay, this is my head. Our guard was beast. Should I ask how did he fall? Because we have two questions left. Should we ask how did he fall off? Or did and then if he's like I tripped or someone pushed if he said someone pushed him, we can ask uh who pushed him. 
Yeah. We can't think because of anything if better. we asked, if we asked, um, did you know the person that pushed you? That can be yes or no. And if we ask, hey, uh, who pushed you? He'd say, I don't know. It's the same answer. Or we get a name. Um, so my fourth question will be, how did you fall? Faulty for the fall. Token. What? He was trying to escape. <laughs> oh, faulty token. Okay. Where did he get the feather fall token? Oh, yeah. In case there's a mastermind who set the whole thing up. <laughs> the Featherfall token or the poison, maybe? Well, has, has there been has token. there been times where Featherfall tokens don't work? A reason it shouldn't, right? Unless like a really, really terrible wizard did it. Or it was intentionally sabotaged. Or that. Like, Which is the reason like, for asking where you are. Has there been precedence of Featherfall tokens not working? Roll me an Arcana check. I was hoping for history, but okay. Can anyone t chime in on this? I could, but Apparatus is back at the gala. Are oh, you still behind? You didn't come with us? Yeah, because I'm still... Um, why, why in the pull and... there's a reason because only mm -hmm. only some people went down. Apparatus was one of the ones that stayed up. I can't remember who else stayed up. Um, I don't I didn't, I didn't know that was a thing, but I wasn't here really in the last session, so I Fair. don't remember you. If not, then yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll do the rolling. I've got advantage on Arcana, I found Arcana mm -hmm. from what. No, no, I'm sorry, not advantage, expertise. Because, I mean, I'm not one to... I don't have a good history either, so here we go. Yeah, my history is also pretty good. History is... plus eight. Yeah, it's a twelve. Ah! No. Not plus twenty-one. <laughs> and then are you going to give me advantage? Uh, advantage? How? I'm asking her if she's going to help me and give me advantage. Oh, on. I already rolled by myself, so I can give advantage. Oh. Uh, Does anyone else want, want to give me advantage? You have your hero points, remember? I can help. You have your hero points and your flies of genius, remember? Never mind. Advantage is not all it was cracked up to be. Yeah. You have your... You, uh, you have never used our hero points, by the way. How do hero points work again? So basically, when you make an, uh, when you make a d20 roll, you can you can roll... Uh, you can spend a hero point, which is half your level, round it down, plus five, and you add a d6 to it. Also, if you fail a saving throw, you can turn... Uh, you can spend a hero point to turn that into a success. So nine plus d6. That wait, is that how many hero points I have, or is That's that how many hero points you have total? You okay. add a d6 nine. to a roll. To the roll. There we go. Okay. Twenty-two. So that's so, a twenty-two. Yeah, twenty-two. Okay. Um. As far as you, yeah, and and then flash a genius for a total of twenty-eight. <laughs> oh, okay. really? 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 <laughs> Just to really, really make sure this is good. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Anyway, uh, yes. As well, yeah, I need to make in. sure because I don't want us to set off on a wild goose chase <laughs> when the other possible question about the poison might have been the better question. Um, yeah, uh, private phone tokens are, are, tend to be very reliable here in Sean. However, there could be... However, there are some hustlers that could uh, sell... Uh, uh, sell some of uh, like faulty ones, though it's rare for much cheaper. Also, there could be also be other causes, such as uh, an anti magic field, or perhaps 
uh, this work uh, couldn't take into account of gravity and uh, uh, and other uh, objects in, in, in his path, such as uh, giant owls, uh, uh, angry elementals, you name it. I said faulty, so that means... He said they're just really not happy. Faulty, or... But the thing is, is if he... Hey, and, how did you get? And you as far as you know, that's that's what the, the uh the or half or could possibly think. Come here. Yeah, it might not be faulty, but you know, you, but he's know. dead now, so because <laughs> it didn't work for whatever reason, so he might just think it's faulty. Nathan. Were these poisons Nathan, you could, like, dig up at an apothecary easily? <laughs> what were the poisonings again? It was... I think we had an arsenic and then something else. And it was arsenic. Has anybody so, heard of... Did we find out about whether or not lace was involved at all? Um... I think we're Arvin, doing most of the post checks. Uh, oh, I was making Hammond a literary girl, reference. Or some she got place. killed because she got stuck in event. Um, Art Jax died um, because he was killed by um, Vosh. Vosh was killed by Arsenic and... Um, so was Sir Goth by this dude. Um, and arsenic's pretty easy to come by. Lisbeth, yeah. Lisbeth was stabbed. Oh no, she's the one that killed Lady and uh, the fiance to Arjax. But Lisbeth died of an overdose. Yeah, I was about to say that. Okay. Well. Being Nord, could you like dig up of this poise? Could you dig up like a good chunk of arsenic from like an apothecary in town or something? Uh, go ahead. We'll be a nature check. What is? Yeah, plus one is not bad. The seventeen. How okay? So, so compared to real life, just just a real life reference. How how yeah. common can you find arsenic um, at like a supermarket? Lots of fruit. Yes. You've got uh, there's some apples. Apricot seeds are real deadly. Apple uh, seeds. Um, uh, apple seeds have it. They'll have a lot of it, but they do have it. Um, ap like like I said, apricot seeds. Um. Artificers would have it. Yeah, uh, this uh, uh, the material arsenic. Arsenic is used for materials preservation. Um, when you bind it with uh, chromated copper. I mean, I'm um, not and sure it's how... used. I mean, they use it in. I don't know if they use it now, yeah. but they used to put it in rat poison. So. Yeah, it's a very common. Yeah, people so, can just go out and buy yeah, rat poison. Yeah, so pretty much, it's a very common place. Uh, th the, the materials required to make this poison are commonplace. It would be hard to uh, trace back to. Uh, uh, here we have to trace back, or at least, since because this uh, uh, this person was a cook, it it's possible that he made the poison himself using common materials. Also, arsenic is almost everywhere in nature. Yeah, like. So There's a portion of the first. air that is arsenic. Yeah. Which, I, I just remember that help. we actually do require a minimum amount of arsenic in order to live. Interesting. I, I can't remember what it's for. I just remember when I'm, I was a kid mm -hmm. reading through you know, all the trace elements and stuff that we need, that our body actually uses, and uh, arsenic is one of them. 
But it's an um, extremely so small leafy amount. vegetables. Uh, some store arsenic in their roots. Um, but they also can store them in the stems and the leaves, lettuce, and some members of the brassica plant family, such as coll collard. Uh, kale, mustard, and turnip greens store more arsenic in their leaves than do other crops. Um, you also but find not it in as concentrated high, high um, not not as cons not at considerationally high enough to cause concern. Rice. There's a lot of arsenic in rice. Uh, so basically, asking where the poison came from is not gonna yield it much. Not so having a good chance of yielding some useful. Vegetables: uh, beets, turnips, carrots, radish, and potatoes. Um, they have it in their skins. Peeling these vegetables will get rid of most of the arsenic. Apples, pear, pears, and grapes. Apples, pears, and grape juice. Yep. So uh, um, yeah. apple seeds. Uh, fruit crops like tomatoes, peppers, squash, uh, uh, cucumbers, uh, peas, beans, corn, melons, and strawberries. <sighs> in a very small amount. Yeah. Okay. Man, the NSA agent that's reading. My 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 Google and Bing searches must be really concerned right now. Yeah, I'm on the <laughs> list now. So I, I was just looking at what happens to the human body when you hit the ground at terminal velocity. Um, <laughs> I mean, I literally looked up what what. Um, I I did a Google search one time for I've, does I've, pouring what, wine on a dead body make it decompose faster. <laughs> Like I, I literally put in what plants have arsenic. Like I'm on the list now. But so we're clear. The answer is no. Alcohol preserves things. It doesn't make them decay. <laughs> now you know. The, the more, more you, know. you know. I'm just a writer. It's for a story. I swear. <laughs> and knowing is half the battle. And the author to this part of the campaign is now also on the list. <laughs> I know for sure I'm not now on a list. I'm already on list. Oh, I'm sure I was I've been on the list, but I'm on a new list now. It only costs about twenty dollars to find out what lists you're on. Anyway, um we yeah. have one more. This head is gonna stay animated until someone asks it a question. So um I mean I guess asking where he got the feather fall token would be best, because like I said, arsenic is you can Wait, just straight up funny. buy arsenic without raising too many questions because of mm -hmm. the you different things find, it's also used for. Yeah, and maybe find like a shadier um, apothecary in town. They wouldn't care. Yeah. Uh, play, right? I'm yeah. going to ask them um, Um, yeah. Who did you get the feather fault open from? From a strange uh, woman in a caravan when I was uh, passing by a village. Uh, Outside of town. Okay. That narrows it right the fuck down. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> A traveling shopkeep. No, not necessarily a shopkeep. This could be a contact of his that he had. Or a... Uh, or a... Uh, what's the term? A hidden patron. Mm. Alright, well, the head is now dormant. Yeah, and the head just like... Rolls... And the guard's like, up, 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 up. don't let him, don't let the head, don't let the head what? <laughs> don't let the head roll off. <laughs> if we're on a flat street. That's, that is your problem, not mine. That we're is, on a flat uh, street. It's not the good. The guard's issue, not not Zoria's. 
I, I, no, the guard is saying okay. it to, to someone. It's, the guard is saying it to another to another guard. Yep. Ah. Uh, well, everybody uh, involved apparently is dead. So. It, I've got a a pit stop. I would like to make. You all don't have to tag along. All right. What pit stop? And do uh, I need to like uh bring up the uh the Sharn chapter again? No. You should know who exactly do, what to do about who we're who I'm going to see. Do we need to ask the guards permission to leave now? <laughs> yeah, the one of the guards approach you just like like I said, uh, like human uh human human guy um uh, approaches is that uh, still, still awkwardly ca uh, like carrying awkwardly carrying hand is like uh, I think we're done here. So, uh, what? I mean, my token's not gonna work on the head again. So, so we got somebody with speak dead. Um, you can speak the dead. Um, in the station, you could uh ask the head again in like a uh, week. Yeah, good you idea. You got more questions? Let's yep. see. We went over this last time. I think it was like ten days later. Somebody can ask the head another question with the regular speak with dead spell. But the token's not going to work again. Yeah, yeah the token's just not going to work again on the head. Yeah. So yeah, it's going to be ten days before someone can talk to it again. All right. And they only have four days to do it because after a week, two weeks, it's done. Yeah, I'll have to. Uh, no, wait, I'll have to uh, let the. Uh, uh, or. What, what, uh, Reason the sovereign host just said. Uh, Powerful one because this yeah, is yeah. not not a common spell. Good idea. We're gonna stop by one of one one of the, uh, them temples. Uh, uh. Yeah. Wish I had a maybe one of the maybe one of the it would be probably would be better here. And I pull out like. Um, let's see if I actually have one, because I think I have one. I was, I was joking about that bag of holding. I, I no, 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 I wasn't going to pull out a bag of holding. Why would I waste a bag of holding on this? No, just like a burlap sack would work. Yeah, I was going to pull out a pouch Okay, okay, or, I take that like... back, I take that back. Um. <laughs> um. Like, I'm sure they could find a burlap sack real yeah. easy. Yeah, no, I... We're in the market space. I'm pretty sure that's yeah, where the, I, the, the I don't have a real sack, but I have a blanket, and I just kind of drape the blanket over the head. There you go. And I do pull it out of my bag of holding. Okay. <laughs> he put uh, he puts the head inside the bag. Okay, thank you, ma'am. We're just like and I, and I like blood start uh, uh, seeping uh, like licking through the, uh, the bottom of the bag. Uh, I actually, mean... at this point, the corpse doesn't have a lot of blood. Yeah, that'd be surprising. That, okay, take that. I take that detail yeah. back. Yeah, you follow that. You hit, and then, yeah, blood is in a like a three hundred sixty degree splatter all around him, and pink mist everywhere because yeah, when yeah. You so yeah, that long, you're still still your the bottom of the uh, get pulverized. The bottom, the, goes, <laughs> the bottom of the uh, uh, bag uh, is stained with blood. It's a blanket that I draped over the gar the head and the guard's arms. Yeah. So like if they kind of wrap it up, it's gonna yeah, stain it somewhere on the blanket, but it's not gonna like drip or anything. And there are guards, yeah. so it's probably not gonna be questioned too much. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah I, had two, uh, I had two blankets in my inventory, and I'm like, I don't need. Oh, that's right. I have two blankets here. Have a blanket. <laughs> that's yeah. yours now. And you gotta hear someone throwing up. <laughs> Someone dead bodies. Someone just now. had a weak constitution over there. But like you've been standing here for like an hour. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just who just walked in, just like, Oop. hey, hey, no, 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 they were holding it for so long, doing so well, and then one, one thing too many. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of, yeah. I, I take that. I, I'll take that. Yeah. A, a, a blanket <laughs> being put on a head to hide the head is the more is the disgusting part. <laughs> okay. Someone has a weak constitution and uh, should go home and lay down. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um. 
All right. Uh, yeah. so can you yeah. tell me what the hell happened? Oh, what in the name Kyber just happened? Um, uh, you mean my magical item, or what happened? Who am I talking to, and who asked me? Like, oh, so, so the guy, so did Terry, a the guard um, asked me this. Yes, yes, yes. Or... He, he did. Which guard? The guard. Well, the would you like to know, weather boy? We already explained to some of the guards what happened so, upstairs. Yeah, this they know what happened downstairs from the gala. And several people died, and we've been helping with it. And I emotioned the guard that escorted us down here in the first place. <laughs> I'm curious what Seven the carpet ride. <laughs> deaths in one night? Oh, that's going to be a bigger scandal than that T-Rex incident. Yeah, well, you know. A lot less fun. Let's just say everybody involved is now dead. So it's not like you have a murderer running around. Sharn still. Yeah. So and if this did, was, we did clean up to the, the last best one. of our knowledge, this and I point to the head. He's the last one involved and he <laughs> fell because his token didn't work. He killed um Vox and mm -hmm. um Sargosh. Uh, which are two of the two, four, five I people think. that died. I thought it was six. Uh, Upstairs. No. no, because hold on. One, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, Three, bad dad and his four, blacky five six, okay six the fiance and okay the six people that friend. died he, and now the he is, he is the seventh seventh person that have died be, but he died because the token he got was faulty and I he decided he... to jump off the side of a bill of a like, city yeah. uh, seventh I person yeah. and I'll died be like, on an accident. I guess all we need are six more bodies. <laughs> no. Um, I'll put my hand <laughs> pull, on the shoulder out a murder dagger. and say, Got it. Walks good into luck an alley. working with two dragon mark houses, and I walk away. We already had one more force jack the Ripper. We're not doing another. <laughs> it's like it. Four, uh, three people from two dragon mark houses are involved in this. Good luck dealing with them. And I walk away. Because it's not my problem anymore. <laughs> okay, so you walk away, and where are you going, heading off to? I mean, I'm going to go check on my family. If, like, I'll go with the group to wherever we're going, but eventually I do want to go and check on my family. <laughs> hey family, I'm still alive. I was not part of the duel. I did not have any direct hand responsible for any of the murders or I mean, splatters. I'm pretty sure my dad saw me talking to the dead corpses, so... <laughs> just, uh, just... I'm trying to solve the problem, not be a part of it. <laughs> this is... Alright, so, um... So, uh, so you arrived back at the uh, uh, at the entrance to uh, to the Attain Mansion. All the residents are uh, uh, many of the uh, guests are are yeah many of the guests are are le are are leaving. And you see your family uh, sitting down on one of the benches. Um, yeah, uh, your your mother just <laughs> pitching the bridge of her nose, just sighing. Wait, what? What day is it? It's, what it's day close is it? To, all right, so um, I'm going to say it's, it's pretty close to midnight. So uh, Dravargo, it's going to be. It's now the same with the Dravargo. Okay, then. Okay, pre midnight. What day is it? Uh, it's the sixth. Which is basically what's the name of the day. It's it, it's equivalent Friday. <sighs> all right. Uh, it's right, far. Right. It, it, that's it's far. far. The Tain Gala is the first far of every month. Yep. Gosh. Okay. Don't people know this already? 
All right. So Apex goes, don't worry. Uh, whatever Zoria's last name is. Eriston. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, Eristans. This is just a pretty standard far for us. And I a pretty about, standard Monday. First one that you got. I mean, this isn't far off from my normal party, to be fair. And Leon, uh, Leon just like kind of like looks at you with a <laughs> Yeah, it's like only seven deaths. And Leon looks at you and says, "What kind of party here? You have uh, this seven deaths, <laughs> six, six deaths, six deaths the at the fun kind. The, six fun deaths. Yeah, uh, uh, get kind of rowdy. I'm like seven, seven. <laughs> Zoria, it's gonna get kind of rowdy. <laughs> what just happened? Who was this? Not my crew, but." I mean, I don't know why you're upset through. at me. I, I am not upset. I'm just. I am. How okay. how is this? Does this, this my... get even worse than a T Rex? It's an. Um. Really determined idiots. <laughs> okay. I mean... Both uh, both Leon and uh, Ada laughed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And it's like, wow, that's a solid burn. <laughs> right. By the way, are you all with uh, Zoria? We've all kind of talked, so. I assume so. I do still have the pit stop I want to make. We'll explain it. And psychically, uh, psych it's just like, <laughs> uh, and it's just like, just like shocked that the stunner offense is like, I don't think I want to go to the Tank Gal anymore. <laughs> Apparatus under their breath. Then my work here is done. <laughs> You're seriously saying that? I'm not Apparatus says it under his breath while also twirling the mustache. <laughs> um, I'll walk over to Zachary and um, like like Reassure me, like it's okay. This I know is my first I know. one. This is the first time I've ever been and, at, at the Tank Gala. And uh, this is, it's not always gonna stuff like this is not always gonna happen. Before some things bad happen, but you're okay. He not are okay. Everyone's okay. Right. So, did you get the did you did you get the bad guy? Yes, we did. Well, gravity got the bad guy. Or at least... We found one of the major... <laughs> one of them. All the bad guys have been dealt with. And... and it's going to be okay, Zach. Just, okay. I'm going to work uh, on fixing some of it. Alright, sister. Uh, just give me a moment to... <sighs> and it's just like... I'm just like... I feel like... Take your breath. It's okay. He nods. Take it, like taking a few deep breaths. And I pick him up, and I'm like, "Let's go home." All right, and you uh, go home. Do you settle in for the night? I mean, didn't Lego like said he, he he wants to go somewhere? It's yeah. it's past midnight. So I don't think the place I'm going has a bedtime. Where are you heading off to, and how would you get there? Okay, uh, magic broom. I want to go talk to Gaff. So I thought it was very interesting. Oh, he's got a position that would get him to work, get him to help out with this a little. Okay, so you fly all the way to uh, to that great to this uh, to the uh, uh, city of the dead in another part of Sharn, which takes you about uh, quite a bit of time, like less than an hour at least. When you get to the mausoleum, mm -hmm. um, you knock on the door. Faster than the elevator. <laughs> yeah, elevator. I mean, well, Jaff is also true. isn't he undead, so he's not going to yeah. sleep or anything. Yep, that's why I said doesn't really have the bedtime where I'm going. <laughs> Okay. What if it turns out that he does? 
Hmm. Wait, like, like he, he's like, oh yes, treat yourself, and then naps. <laughs> then I'll be waiting here for a while. <laughs> Fuck it. He comes and answers the door with, you know, very groggily and like pink bunny slippers. <laughs> and like, Undead yeah. pink bunny slippers. <laughs> No, even better. Regular pink money, uh, bunny slippers, but they've got that like the glow in the dark paint on them to, for like <laughs> for like like a, a, for for a skeletal look in the dark. Yeah, when you Which knock on the door everywhere. after a few minutes, uh, you you see like an apparition of a magic mouth saying, "Go away, I'm busy." Uh you got a minute? I got an interesting idea for you. Stay where you are. I'm maintaining concentration in this spell. This spell referring to the magic mouth thing. Is magic mouth a concentration no. spell? Can no. you look it up? I'm just making it up as I go. Shit. I don't think it was. I'm looking oh, wait, it does not it does not say concentration. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna say where you are. I am busy and I am multitasking, and I'm cranky. What do you want? I'll, I'll wait till you're done. No, no, I could do. Uh, I have a, a great enough mind to do both. What do you want? Okay, um, I guess opening question. You're a really good um. With necromancy magic, right? I'm uh, I'm a follower of. Hang on a sec. I need to look up uh, uh, what uh, what Gad is following, uh, of the keeper. As you can tell by the uh, sigil on my mausoleum. I've got an idea. You like uh, favors, right? Go on. Okay. So, from a party we just came from, um, two nobles, or uh, Dragon Mark House heirs, um, got kind of murdered. Oh, and what uh, do they have on them? Uh, just fancy clothes, I guess. Uh, I had a suggestion. If you got a couple charges of resurrection, like two, maybe three, there might be another one there. I wasn't there for that part. Um, another good one in there. Um, you could cast it in House Leandar and House Caneth. Would kind of owe you. Hmm. I don't do these kind of uh, kinds of resurrections. Those like uh, those like. Uh, I tend to make them my follow my undead followers. Well, could you do the normal kind? Because like two dragon mark houses owing you a favor. If you bring them back, good as new. That sounds pretty powerful. Hmm. One other question: How long were they dead? It's been like an hour. Well, it's pr at this point, it's probably couple been a couple hours. of hours. Okay, like two, actually. It took me a little bit to get here. And you're, I, and you're sure that uh, that the Sovereign Host or he scoffs at that or House Jurassic wouldn't do the trick? I mean, There's you're the only necromancer I know. You're the only necromancer I know. And I, I think they would just want like a bulk payout. The other two. I doubt the kind of uh, of favors I require that then would be to the liking. Yeah, but it might be more desirable than dead relatives, talk dead to, heirs. Yeah. Might I add? Talk to House Tarasco, and the house disappears, and and the mouth disappears. Okay. Eh? So is that a no? I could do negotiations. 
No answer. We'll make you cookies. Okay, so you're, you're here alone. <laughs> the dead of night. The mouth comes back. Yeah, you're Chocolate here, chip. You're, you're here alone <laughs> at the dead of night, and you're pretty sure there might be a ghost or two on the way. I mean, I just say hi to them. Ooh. I'm choking, I'm choking. And this is kind of timely for uh, because it's October, like in real life. So Halloween's around the corner. So, what do you want to do now, um, Abe? And that was kind of my idea. I wanted to see if Gath would get in on this because he wouldn't charge them for a lot of money. It's like the others might. I mean, I'll go talk to House. What was it? House Jurassic. I'm guessing they deal in necromancy magic. They, they deal in healing, but like they're not it's high level stuff like that. It isn't common. So let's just say yeah. true as okay. So like, the there's old... not a lot of people that can do third level stuff. Yeah. Level Iron true, stuff. true resurrection is canonically no, only one person is known to be able to do that. We only need regular resurrection. Yeah. And the reason why there's only one, because Keith Baker originally didn't want anyone to be able to cast that, but Wizards mm -hmm. of the Coast said there has to be at least one person. And so, uh, I can't remember her name, the head of the Silver Flame. Yep, that's yep, that's her. When inside a throne keep, she's a level 20 cleric. Because Wizards of the Coast made, made Keith Baker add that in. <laughs> so that somebody could cast True Resurrection. Because not even... Um, just because she's a level 20 cleric doesn't mean she has it prepared. No, Ooh. but she has the capability of casting it. Yeah. Which is uh, an issue. Eris, Eris Devol can't even cast it. And. No. Well, she's a god. She's not. Essentially. Well. She's worshipped as one and can grant powers. Yeah, so... So, she, she's godlike. Alright, so what do you want to do now, Abe? I mean... I swing past their healing halls or whatever. See if they've got, like, ER hours. And if not, I guess I'll go to bed. Um, they're... Okay, let me... Uh, let me see if there's a, uh... If there's a uh, Jurassic, uh... Enclave in Sharn. There's probably several at this point. I assume so. Is, aren't they yeah, all there here? are. Uh, they, they operate houses of healing throughout the city, largely in the middle and upper wards of the city. The 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 primary wow. one. The, the, there's a primary Jurassic Enclave in the Panaceum in Dragon Towers in Middle Central. Okay. I like swing by on my way home to check the hours. Yeah, it's uh, there are a few uh, there are a few staff members inside. Uh, one of them is mm -hmm. like working at a desk, and you can see this like this blonde haired male halfling with a dragon mark. Kind of like looks up and says, "Hi." Ugh. Hello. Um, sorry to bother you all. In the yeah, of the night. yeah. It's been a uh, it. I, I had to take double shift. I'm tired. What do you want? Um, I might have a question of who... Well, I was going to say best healer, but I don't really need the best healer. I just need somebody who's got um, the ability to cast Resurrection, because I've got an, a proposition for them. He kind of like, uh, looks at you and says, We're house That's Jurassic. That's natural. You're propositioning them with, you know, an idea of Resurrection? I'm not one to kink shame, but... Uh, do you know where you are, mister? A healing house? Yes. 
Who yeah. needs who needs resurrect? Oh, who needs resurrecting? Uh well, this is the interesting part. Um, the heirs to House Leandar and House Decaneth. Leandar and all right. Uh, so they'll uh, they'll put uh, I'll put it on the tab. What uh, what what was the cause of death? And I have to let you know that uh, there's a risk of a, of a resurrection going terribly wrong, such as the wrong spirit going uh, going in return to the body, or some sort of malevolent malevolent uh, ghost or wraith might escape from the nether uh, world along with the person being raised. Why don't you just cast but sanctuary for first? It's not just that we have to defeat that second one. We will have to cast uh, augury to make sure if it's a good idea or not. Do you know how often? Do you know how often a resurrection going wrong happens? Pretty often. I actually no, say it I... probably doesn't happen very often because they always cast augury. <laughs> yes. I, I was, well, <laughs> yes. No, because I'm not dumb enough to get killed in the first place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Even My even so, uh, some unexpected surprise is uh, going our way. So we gotta make sure the risk is worth it. So augury. So we cast, it. like I said, augury first, and then if it, if it, if sanctuary if it, does not work in this situation. Sanctuary only works on the living. Yes. I thought it would work on rate or uh, not. Uh, not sanctuary. You're thinking um, of protection from evil. Uh, yeah. You're thinking of protection from yeah. evil and good. Yeah. That's what I was Which, by the way. Playing a, the playing a a solely support bard with sanctuary is really fucking fun. All right, Sh should I ask? Uh, may I ask for your name, sir? Hey, but I'm ju I'm just giving the suggestion to you guys. What is like protection from evil and good also only works. On and even yeah, and I have to make uh, another reminder to you, Abe, sir. Uh, that uh, that the spells that you suggested only works on the living. I'm not a healer, but I'm taking guesses. <laughs> I guess. I, I uh, anyway, I'm um, a, oh, I'm a little cranky, and that's fine. I'm lucky right, so in we, uh, anyway. So, uh, is it just these uh, these uh, these drag marked errors, or are there more? I mean, there was another good person that got murdered at the party that could use them. Um, a pick me up. Are they related to a one of the houses? No, but apparently she was the best friend to one of the, to the uh, Kenneth heir. So that might roll over. That will be on your tab. So, so that will be. I'm someone... doing the suggestion for giving this over to like the houses. Yeah. My first idea didn't work. So. Oh God! Oh, oh by the gods! What was your first idea? Oh, I'm buddies with Gaff. He double face palms. <laughs> and you gotta be you know, and, and, and you get some and you get your uh quarry all oh, also get like it's whirlwind of uh, of a face palm. Good, he's melodramatic, so what? Yeah, they uh uh the uh the terrestrial clerk doesn't see it, but you can sense your Quar uh, your uh, qu your quarry face like doing its version of a face palm. <laughs> if it hasn't already. No, I just saying talk to the houses. They'll probably. Famous. All right, who are the names of the? Uh, all right, list me the names and I'll write them down. And I provide it from the memory of the person who would have actually heard them. Okay. Like an hour ago. <sighs> Seven deaths in the Tangala. For fuck's sake. Alright. He, uh, he, like, the halfling just, like, hops down from his chair and just walks off. Remember the uh, the ones that not related to the record marked uh, houses will be on your tab. It's this is you talking. This is I'm giving suggestion for the house head to talk to the other house heads, and this might have done better in a meeting with the house head. Yep. Hmm. 
Probably. No. Uh, I'll... Yeah. The reason why I'm just... Yeah, just yeah. Like... He, like, turns stops and turns off says, the reason why I'm... Uh, I'm letting you off the hook for these uh, Dragon White Towers is because from what you've told, uh, 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 told me, they're pretty important. Yeah, the heirs. I'm not yep. there. Never mind. Uh, they sound pretty important, so... Plus, it's good... Uh, 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 it's good public relations, you know? Yeah. Plus, you guys could get, a, get some favors from them, which could be useful. If that's how you're doing it. Roll or you just get a money. persuasion check. For, mm. the, for this entire thing. Mm. I'm pretty sure you would succeed. Mm. Uh, you have a good chance of succeeding, but you never know. There's the thing. <laughs> sailing under the floor. Uh, yeah, excuse me. Wait, what? Under the floor? The, the under heart? The floor. Under my desk. Oh, but, yeah. you're using oh. a physical dice. I was going to say, I, I, yeah. I, was, I was about to say, because uh, if, it, if it's the heart of uh, the orc, I'm pretty sure it wasn't under the floor. I'm pretty sure it was evenly covering the entire floor. Uh, it has 27. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and the, uh, and the, uh, and the blonde haired halfling nods in agreement says, yeah. Tell you what, um, hmm. <sighs> he thinks. And who is this per? And who is this other person that that's not part of the Dragon Arc houses? Uh, you blast their head off. <laughs> best, uh, best friend to the Kenneth heir. You know that's what? Correct, right? Um. If you only pay about uh, 500, uh, uh, five, uh, five, 500 up front, I'll probably let you off the hook. But this is one time. One. Hey, what is it? Is this a crime? Giving no, a suggestion? No. no, it's not. It's not. A, it's not a no, crime. instead of paying like 500 per person, we're just paying 500 once. Uh, for, a normal resurrection thing. Uh, a normal, normally raising uh, using the race dead spell. Cost about 750 Califar. It's not the spell, right? Spell, though. Look, oh, sir, how long? Raised dead would cost a minimum of 500 per person, and that's not counting the auguries, which also cost money. Um, but also, like, so we've we've what paraded all of these bodies to House Jurasco Enclave. Or did we have somebody come here? I think I missed something. I'm just looking around for somebody to like cast resurrection because I want it's like. Or, I mean, are we still at the party? Like, I, I think I missed I think something. My I asked if anybody wanted to tag along to Gath's place, but nobody wanted to, so I just went by myself. I assume everybody went back to Zoria's. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. So you didn't hear me then when I said that I went with you. Oh. Yeah, okay. yeah, I didn't even. Apparatus is with you. Okay. Oh crap! I forgot. Oh, oh, that's awkward. And been silent this entire time. <laughs> you really yeah, I, didn't, I, I didn't even realize Apparatus. that we had left the party. Technically, I thought we were no, still we talking to an investigator. Yeah, no, no, we left the party when we went to go check on the orc's body because orc jumped. <laughs> Our window ended up two layers down. Yep. I, I thought it made it clear. I, I, I guess I did. I'm sorry, uh, Nathan. <sighs> I blame yeah, Chuck fine. Norris. Fuck that man with a. Oh God! I, am, I did not realize that you were Anything. also with, uh, uh with, uh, with Abe. Uh, it's, that's going to be a little bit on Tingle. So, would you like to do it? I'm, the, I'm the one that's at home with my yeah. family. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Where'd you end up, Nate? Where are you doing? I don't know. I'm like I said. I thought we were still at the party talking to the Sharn Watch investigator stuff. That's my fault. Yeah. I think that's my fault for not making it clear. Uh, like Zoria says that she'll be heading back to her to her home. 
Abe is heading to to Gath, I, then to, uh, then to the uh, uh, then to one of the uh, um, Jurassic enclaves. I, I, I heard her say that that was what she was going to do, but I didn't realize that we were hard cutting directly to that. That's my fault. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I just so. What you want to do? Right. So my my question is: Did the people who went to talk to whomever they're talking to about resurrecting these bodies? Did they are they just what throw all the bodies into a cart and are wheeling them through Sharn? Like I think he's just talking to people coach. about raising them. Okay, uh, the yeah. party? No, at uh, I've the gone party's to gone. A the party's house. gone. We're not at the okay. Party. I went home with my family and that, that that's fine. I'm I'm not right. I'm, I'm asking about the bodies, not what your character has done since you're I'm home. guessing the, the watch. The guards. Yeah, yeah, the watch okay. is gonna it's gonna be like uh. Uh, sh uh, okay, so Abe, should you uh, spread the word to um, Sean Watch? They will uh, use uh, get a sky coach to bring the body to bring the uh, to bring the um, bodies you mentioned. So I guess if if we're at a house Jurasco enclave discussing resurrecting these people, Wimper is strongly against it. Huh? And why would you? Why bringing what? the dead back? Is unnatural and extremely dangerous. Uh, no, it's it is a common way. It is a common way for fiends to enter our world. Well, that's why we made precautions, sir. I was just suggesting it to um, talking to houses, the houses, and see about yes. It. But your precautions can be hijacked by the same fiends. Yes. I mean, we could have you on standby. Hmm. Hmm. I think I've heard of. I think I've heard of you. Um, you're one of those like null groups that that hunt down demons. I forgot their names. What are they called? He like snaps his fingers, trying to, uh, kind of like this. What are they called, sir? I'm asking you, uh, Nathan. I'm asking your character. All right, one more time. Uh, what was the name of that whole organization? Because th the way uh, the way you talked about demons and stuff, that kind of rings a bell. I forgot the name. Organization is very too strong a word. <laughs> okay. Loose collection of 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 well-meaning yeah. psychopaths. I am a query of this near. Hey, okay, hey, what? Your your accent is a little... I am a query. Here we go. Query. Okay, this is going to take me a bit to, to, to mount it correctly. I apologize. Would you mind typing that down? <laughs> That's not going to help you. <laughs> well, it will, like, like, so I can look it up and learn more about it. <laughs> yeah, I know, okay. Okay, tap it in, in campaign or on World 24, those who are also curious. Oh, no, I'm, I'm getting it. Give me a second. Uh, now I just got to make sure I'm in the right Discord channel. All right, the spelling that is used in exploring Eberron is H-W-Y-R-I. Hiri. Shiri. I again the, I apologize. This is gonna take me a and bit. Zneer. So Hwiri is basically the fiend slayer. And the Zneer is the particular uh clan of gnolls that overthrew the gods and the fiends that used to rule them. Oh, that is awesome, he says. Oh, I can't wait to tell my brother Finashi about this. Yeah. <laughs> uh you realize how impressive that is? You're able to do that without, like, a continent-wide society being destroyed in their background. <laughs> oh, man. They fought They fought overlord, the forces of the overlords and won. Uh, yeah. Okay. They were a clan. 
When the Goblinoid did it, the, when the Draconi did it, their entire continent-wide empire crumbled. Are you speaking out of character or in character? Out of character. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to tell Panache about this. All I got, oh, 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 all he has is, uh, is uh, a bit of a murder mystery and uh, a cult involving eyes and stuff. Long okay, story. so we've got a time frame going on here. What? <laughs> Reference to another campaign, yo! Sorry, I couldn't help myself. He's referencing... Um... He's referencing our Tuesday game. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, here's a, here's an idea that I would be very surprised if they didn't think about. Um, if if the dead are to be restored to life, it should only ever be in the first few moments before the soul has left for Dolur. Oh, calling a soul back from Dolur lets all manner of evils know that there is. The vacancy on the earth. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe. That's why we have the augury spell for occasions like this. Did you do magic circle? Yes. Augury could ask questions, but augury does not always ask the questions of the people you want. All right. Bump, okay. And, 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 the, and the guy. The last few hours must have been really uncomfortable for poor Wimper. I didn't find any poison in the food, like, in general. Which makes sense if it being a targeted assassination. No, I'm talking, like, the, uh, at using speak with dead probably is kind of pushing it for him. Speak with know. dead doesn't actually call the soul back from Dolur. Yeah, just the animating spirit, which is, you know. It's different. the memory of the deceased. Yeah. Uh, although, although the, although the halfling just like out of curiosity, uh, how do you feel about using speak with dead? Just, just uh, a hypothesis. That's all. It's unreliable at best. Fair enough. The dead do not have any compulsion to give you accurate information. They could outright. I, they could refuse to talk. They could be cryptic. Well, that's, that's it's, people. It's best also to never ask them, oh, is such and such this or this? Because then they could just say yes, because it is one of the two. Yeah. That, that's, that's true, but also, but also, but also it's, it, can, it can be a bit of way more reliable than usual at times. I don't know why. Yeah, like tonight, it's the, the corpses have been extremely forthcoming. Speak with dead is most useful as a threat. While interrogating a living person, just tell them you will kill them, and then speak with their dead body. <laughs> you hear Apparatus go, ooh, I like that. <laughs> it's a good way to do it. Well, no, actually, it's a very bad way to do it, because the dead will still recognize you as their enemy, and probably tell you, but it's the threat. Yeah, no, yeah, no that's, what he, that's what Apparatus is talking about. They're saying that the the threat, the, you know, like ooh, that's a that's a because most people aren't gonna know that the the specifics. They just know that some people can can talk with your dead body after you're dead and find out what you know. They, you know, most people probably don't know that uh, the answers are very yeah. cryptic and, and, and they and, refuse and, to speak to the killers, etc. Right, and the uh, halfling nods says, "Right, so uh, I got a bit of a job to do." All right, so, got uh, so I gotta get in touch with uh, with Sean Watch about this if they haven't known about this already. Yeah, I mean, now obviously, sure if the families of these people wish to pay for the unnatural objects, that's their business. But we yeah. definitely should not yeah. participate in it. So, to put it down mechanically. Basically, Weeper's fine with Revivify, but not Resurrection. That is that is definitely what I am putting down. Here's 
I'm gonna ask them. Um, and plus, uh, and plus, uh, those who were, who were the recipient uh, of a raised dead or uh, and the like tend to be a bit winded. You get what I'm saying? Like the uh, <laughs> you you bring them back and they're suddenly an air genasi. That's not what I meant. <laughs> No, say, no, 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 no. It's like they tend to <laughs> there. The, uh, it takes time for them. They come the, back exhausted. I, I know what you meant mechanically. Or or a, or a penalty to their checks and stuff um, until <laughs> a far, far, uh, like that's what he that's what for he was an saying. Amount of time. Yeah, just it'll take them time to adjust to being back to the living. Uh, by the way, name's Ando. Uh, uh, and uh, wow. I, I know I'm repeating this, but I couldn't wait to uh, to send a letter to Finache about this. All right, give me a second. I realize what this is being said. I better take a note of this. Are you saying, <laughs> are you saying this out of character, Nathan? Yeah, I'm saying this out of character. He's saying that as the DM of the Tuesday game. That's yeah. what he's saying. Uh oh, oh boy. I've got, a, I've got a, one more question. Yeah. Uh, why doesn't magic circle work? If I remember that spell correctly. Yeah, I'm not saying that doesn't uh, work. Uh, I'm going to look it up. It protects against possession. Magic circle is a interesting spell to use in this concept because magic circle stops the undead. You're, you're from quite right. Crossing uh, it. Yeah. You're, and you're, would that not present? A problem for the soul itself to re-enter the body? Uh, I was more talking about the fiend end of it, because I think you can specify which creatures can't enter. The, although we, t we we put up a magic circle... Is, but that still leaves the door open. Yeah, for the no demons. Spirit, <laughs> yes. Although, Arkham minimizes the chance. Minimize. Demons are... Well known to be collectors of souls, though. You um, might not get a fiend, but you could still get one of their minions. Hmm. Uh, Did I use that right? That is a piece in the Conqueror game, yes? Yeah. Good job. Yes. I've never played it, though. You should try it. Oh, wait, well, my fighting style is messed up. Oh, you have the blind finding, uh, 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 blind finding style, I believe. Yeah, I it just didn't change back when I was looking at interception and protection. Okay, so I don't. Know. All right, so back to work, and it's really late. So I I think you should you should find like a like a tavern, or you got homes, or are you gonna be like murder hobos or something? Murder hobos. Okay, why attach murder to it? It's a term that's not us use for a financialist like you. You never know. I, I know, but you could just say hobo. That's nicer. We have homes here in Char. I don't. Most of it. Well, we have places to stay here in Char that are, are like official lodgings. Yeah. Hey, and, like, wait, three wait, places wait. Are like us. Wait and a minute. Epress starts thinking, there's only been a few times where we were even at risk of what we did being legally murder. Wait a minute. He he looks at he he looks at uh, at you and Abe almost with that condition. Aren't you the ones that the uh, that the chronicles talked about uh, uh, back in uh, back in Salvation with that Warforge Colossus? Yes. Oh, that's badass. I'll be right back. I got to use the restroom. I'm going to grab another drink. Okay, can, can, can I can I can I, uh, can okay, I get can I get your you autograph? Uh, wow, I'm gonna that's gonna be another thing right. I I can talk what? to Vinacio about. Back. Did you get to bring you a drink? Yes, please. What do you want? You. And you're you're with the, oh you're oh you're with the Eurystice. I also been been hearing about that Warforge protest. I think it was late last year, early earlier this year. Time seems it's almost like time seems to have no meaning. I don't know. Wasn't it like a week ago? <laughs> Not the Two? no. I'm talking about I'm talking about the uh, that other Warwatch protest. 
Uh, yeah, the one Zoria <laughs> and Apparatus participated in. Yes, he's referencing the thing that my character participated in. Yeah, and well, uh, and and I don't know what Wimp will be up to because the player is like AFK. So um, we're about to go home and start the next day. So head on, head on back to Zoria's place. We gotta wait till. Uh, so should I let um, uh, Nathan, Nathan know somehow? What? Uh, like uh, the rest of you are gonna be heading out, uh, heading back to Zora's place. I I think you can just assume that he follows too. Okay, I'll let Nathan know. So um, like I, said, I left a charismatic the, leather trying to do the same thing. Uh, uh, so this. um, you return back to the place. Uh, back to a uh, back to Zora's uh, home. The uh, the te the tension in the atmosphere is well. Ever heard? Ever heard like the uh, ever like the the tension is leaving at birth? There's a, there's just like a uh, not like a f a few relievers. It's like what was the term for it? It's, uh, it's like uh, it's uh, the event is over, but you're still feeling a little. Uh, n you're not happy about it. I don't know if anybody would be. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, would you like to sell uh, to settle for the night, or do you have any last minute businesses to do uh, before um, you Me? risk uh, you risk to stay up all night for, for uh, to risk uh, an exhaustion? You talking to me? To me, uh, to to, uh, to you, Zoria, to uh, apparatus, and uh, I mean, while everybody was gone, I'd probably be hanging out with like. Probably my youngest brother because he was affected by it the most in a negative way. Negative, like everybody was uh, impacted negatively by it, but like my brother was the most impacted by it. So, like, I'd probably hang out with him, like, make sure my younger sister's okay, but like, mostly just kind of hang out with my little brother to f to just make sure that he's okay. Your sister asks Hey. Vote for Pillow Fort. Uh, uh, and like she builds up a little bit of <laughs> Pillow Fort in her room and asks, do you want to play some 3 Dragon and tea? Do I want to play Dragon and tea? Um, Let me look at my character sheet. My, do I know how to not that do I? Am I proficient in it? I don't think so. I don't think I am. So I'm pretty sure that my character would get smashed from my <laughs> younger sister. But in this situation, I probably would be like, yeah, I let like know that I know the result of what's happening will probably happen, but I'll probably still play with her. Alrighty, this is going to be a bit of a contest of intelligence. Is it is it intelligence or wisdom? I'm gonna say uh intelligence because this this involves strategy. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, I mean, okay. That all right? If it's intelligence, intelligence, I as a person would probably do like wisdom. But like I said, that is that yeah. is that that is what I would do. But you're the DM, so all right? Intelligence. Totally so I'm gonna roll for her. Um. Her three dra dragon hand T check. Twelve. Oh. Oh. Um. Okay. <laughs> my proficiencies? Oh, there it is. Uh oh. Lag spike, lag spike, lag spike. There we go. I hate it when that happens. Oh, oh, like, how's my uh, stream going? By the way, is it does it does it look good? I think it looks. We don't good. have it open. Yeah. Uh oh.
Oh no, my I'm having some black spikes. Shit. It's it's okay. There we go. It's fine now. It's okay. fine. Okay, hold on. Oh, there we go. I think my stream is working just fine. Sorry about that. Um Really gotta be careful. So, um, all right. So you pl so what do you roll for your uh? So what do you roll? Um, yeah. Since if you're not proficient, it's just a straight intelligence check. I think I am. Um, Is it just ten or twelve or eleven? Um. It's 10, but since I am, hold on, I think there was some miscation during the... Uh, want me to check your character sheet? To... No, I got it. Okay. It's three dragon anti, right? Yep, three dragon anti. Is that a card game? Yeah, a card game. It's it's a card game that actually has this like a physical release. Um, uh, uh, you mean a gambling game? <laughs> you could just not... play for points. Yeah, for it points? it mixes poker, rummy, and something else. I can't remember. Uh, uh, Silk and I played the game a couple uh, times, if I remember right. No, I've 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 I I have played it as well. My Nathan has an actual card set. Oh, of sweet! The game. So do I. But I was I thinking you did. that because we're nobles, we probably play play dragon chess. Yeah, uh, it's dragon chess. It's dragon chess. Sorry, want to play some like, dragon? I mean, that's why I took it because it's no. It's yeah. It's, uh, yeah, she. I'm going to recommend yeah. that and say, do I, no, right, no, 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 no. Maybe her sister's playing three dragon ante because you are not proficient in it. <laughs> my, my, I, I would sister. say my, what, twelve year old sister that was raised in nobility probably does not play three dragon ante. Yeah, she has like this, like this, the despair, the despair. Uh, yeah, I'm going to recommend that to uh to dragon chess. I'm going, and she brings up this. Do you want to play some conqueror? All right. All right. It, uh, it's the same, the same result. So yeah, I'm working that. So uh. All right, I love the, like the the, the the image of we all walk in and like. Hey, Whipper was just talking about that. <laughs> um, is that a what was that? Is that a roll or you get a one? Hmm? It was a one on a D twenty, okay. Yeah, I did not roll well. I'm Ooh. I'm Figuring out, I'm trying to see see if I can actually just press it as Dragon Ante, but I don't know. Uh, we're, we're we're switching to uh, Conqueror, aka Chess. Um, give me a second. I know I did a one. Don't... Yeah, apologize. Uh, yeah, apologize. Uh, I thought um... I had. Whoever uh, correcting whoever corrected me, you get an inspiration point because that's very kind of you. What? Or did you on what? Uh, like a, uh, that nobles normally would uh, would play chess instead of just like gambling. But yeah. Sorry. Do you have an inspiration point already? That 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 would be me. And uh, no, no, I don't. All right, so uh. So Nathan, yeah, you were like, the, what are the only ones that didn't? You and Weeper. I don't think Weeper has one. I think everyone else does. Yeah. So I think we passed one over to Wimper. Um, so uh, Wim so Wimper. Uh, so everybody's back at Zoria's place. It's like, I, I just got back. What? What did I miss? Convenient. People are talking about me, so I. Oh yeah, we we, we arrived at Zoria's house, and just like you were talking about, or not, you know. 
they're playing uh, Conqueror, which is like, oh, hey, Wimper was just talking about that. Okay, I'm just gonna roll. And uh, and uh, and the Tarasco clerk um, asks for Abrazis and Apes of uh, Autograph. Did you did you do that by the way? Uh, yeah, probably. Um, yeah, be yeah. sure to track that in the, in in, yeah. in your campaign, Nathan. Hmm? Yeah. I, I I left myself a note about your brother's letter. Cousin, I think. Including right. like the uh, including all, all including everything like meeting Abe and apparatus. Let's see. Um, how we doing? Yeah. Pillow fortune chest. Sounds like a good night. <laughs> I feel I feel that like I'm in the room with my I'm playing drag dragon chess or conquer or whatever in in where the spill fort is, like with my sister and my little brother watching. Yeah. Who else wants to uh, who else wants to watch? I mean, you there to they give flash in. of genius? No. <laughs> they, they come in as I'm as I'm playing this with yeah. my little sister. And I believe it was either Abe or Apparatus. Was like, hey, Wimpo's just talking about that. That yeah, was Abe. Yeah. yeah. Pillow fortune chest sounds like a good night. Yeah. So, the, uh, so the rest of you, so so the rest of you hang around in the in the pillow fort or out of it, watching Zoya and her sister play. Um, and by the way. You came up, you out outmaneuvered uh, your sister in a uh, if, in a few matches uh, of uh, of Conqueror. She doesn't seem to quite mind because it it takes her mind off what uh, uh, what happened last night. Like I don't like outright beat beat her. I like I, I don't like I don't drag it out to be mean, but I like I drag it out first. Like she has to like focus and try to beat. And just keep her mind off it. What happened at the gala? Uh, I I I don't know if I got your sister's name down. What what was her name? Uh, let's see. I think I put it in my notes. Uh, you okay, Silken? Silken, you okay? I'm in a lot of pain. So I have uh I have three siblings. Um, two. I just lay down. Thomas and Melody, who are twins, and then Zachary, Zachary okay. or Zach, Promise um, and Melody, the youngest brother. <laughs> yeah, Prom Promise and Me Melody. Okay. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas and Melody. Thomas and Melody. Thank and you. And then Thomas and Melody, and work. then Zach, which is the youngest. Okay. But like, we're probably all in a room and. All hanging out. And... Oh no! Uh, lag spike again. Oh no! There we go. Ah, uh, this seems to be I'm happening. Go. That's the weekend. Yeah, it's a Sunday. I know I get. So yeah, so eventually you all <laughs> rested. Uh, 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 all of you rested and. It's like set up and the, yeah, yeah, and, and because you stay up a little later than usual. It's I, closer to the middle uh, of the af it's closer to afternoon. You wake up, you basically uh, you have breakfast, or at least those who can eat or want to eat. Um and yeah. I wake up early in the morning. Hang out with hobby, do my morning routine. Yeah. Uh, you are a Rocky Montage kind of person. I mean, sure. What about you, Wimper? I just. Yeah. My sorry. I don't see my character like sleeping in. Like her body just her body clock wakes her up every morning, like early in the morning. That's not a clock. That's having to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Is someone speaking from experience? <laughs> <laughs> it's like when someone asks you the question, "What in all these hard times? What motivates you to get up every morning?" That's usually my ladder. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh, wow. That might sound like whimper. Say it. I'm not wrong, and you know it. <laughs> All right, so, uh, uh, whimper, how would you like to start the day after breakfast and everything? Uh, Wimper? Nathan? I'm sorry. What exactly am I being asked? I apologize. Well, how would you like to start your day after waking up and having breakfast? No, I mean, that sounds good. What? Yeah, waking up and having breakfast. I, that that sounds good. All right. Yeah. Eight... What do I want to do after that? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, and you get... All right, and you... Uh, soon after breakfast, you have received a uh, quick... Like a like a memo for a uh, memo sent uh, uh, sent to, uh, sent to you from Laura, requesting your presence. And I think this is a good way, a uh, 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 good spot to end the session. Don't you think? Uh, it's top ready. Yeah, is that a good way to end the session? I'm okay with ending it that way. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. For the next session, it's gonna, I'm gonna, uh, it's gonna be a, a return to the Convergence Manifesto uh, storyline. Okay. I'm surprised you didn't get a letter from either of the houses. However, um, on, the, the houses. on the on the way, on the way to no. uh, the Glen Top Adventure scale, you hear uh, the news, uh, uh, like the uh, you hear people, like you hear like the newsboy, newsgirls shouting. Extra, extra, uh, seven murders at, uh, seven deaths at the Tangala. It's, yeah, it seems like this is a bigger scoundrel scound than, you, than you may have anticipated. Yeah, they want to bolster the number. <laughs> bolster the number. Technically, it was, only, it was only six at the gala. The other guy died like halfway down... To this, to layer two, I really feel like there need to be another six at the gala. <laughs> Plus, the guy who died on accident would make it a solid thirteen minus one. <laughs> Connor, you're losing your touch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a solid burn. Yeah, I deserve that. I'm, I'm giving you a hard time. I know. Still, All right, anyway. Huh. That uh, that took that uh, murder mystery thing wrapping up took a little longer than I thought, but yeah, I hope you you all enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I want. Well, I didn't get a phone call from work, so that means uh, my replacement showed up. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I hope you had uh, you all had fun uh, a a good time, everybody. Mm -hmm. Wait, is where did where did my brother go? Where did Silicon go? I don't know. Yeah, so the next adventure will be the uh I believe the eleventh adventure. And you're the one in the same building with him. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, so so yeah, that I think that's about it. I better let my brother know so I end the stream. So we'll be seeing who we we'll be uh rating for this so uh uh, for uh, this time, I think I got an. Uh, I think I got an idea. Uh, we'll be rating Matt Lawson. Uh, he was actually a uh, a previous player in my uh, a player in my pre previous play campaign. He played as a uh, orc paladin over the watcher named Orak, um, who has a bit of a fascinating, uh, a bit fascinating character arc, which I uh, hope I did my best to wrap that up with with a pretty bow in it. So yeah, we'll be rating him. He's playing, uh, I think, uh, Eve Online. I haven't heard that in a while. Fascinating. Anyway, what? Eve, Eve on Online still exists? Yes. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, we'll be. I would have thought that after that big massive battle that destroyed millions of dollars, chips, in real world money, that the game's economy would. <laughs> oh, you kind of cut off our second. Hyperbolic, of course. Oh, yeah. It was only hundreds of thousands of dollars. Chips. Yeah, anyway. hundreds of thousands. 
Yeah. It was a pretty big battle. Yeah, anyway, here it comes lasted the, for days. Here comes the cavalry, everybody. Please. We will see you next time. Same the uh, same D D time, same D D day. Bye bye.